Hello, Steve here again. Uh, this is welcome to part two of uh, building this easy build uh, second open. This is a side with no windows in. Uh, I'm going to uh, build the sides first, complete. I'm going to actually complete the whole site, painted and everything. Um, you build these coaches as sub assemblies, so basically, you've got the, the chassis and the bogies and all the under frame, two sides two ends and the roof and you can virtually build them all separate put them together maybe a bit of final detailing afterwards oh plus the uh the insides of it which is well that's different so basically to complete a side there's five parts you need to add you need to add the windows which are etched windows you need to add the hinges which are etched um, the door stops which are not on all doors uh, oh, this is a piece of one mil plastic card, uh, plastic card rod uh, I've just put that in the hole already uh, and once you've got those three components in that's when I would paint the uh, sides and line them completely glaze oh yeah I'd do that I'd paint them uh, seal them with varnish uh, they'll be lined everything and then after that's all finished then you can uh, put on the door handles and the grab rails because they're in brass and they're easy to put on afterwards just with a very small drop of super glue it's easy so that's what i'm going to do just before i start this this is one this is one i did yesterday this is a side finished um I'll point this out. You can see the, the hinges. Sorry, I'm just using my phone. I'm going to try and go onto my camera. And I'll charge up the battery. Uh, the, obviously, the windows. Now, you can see the door stops. The door stops are only on the doors. Like there's not one there because the door opens that way. So, that one and that one. Right. Okay, so you get this plastic plastic rod with it. I've cut a piece off and I've pushed it through there. So what I'm going to do, I'll have to turn the camera off. I'm just going to glue this in position. Just going to use some uh, MEK or butane, whatever you've got. Okay, I've put that on. Now, don't worry about the glue because you can uh, put some on both sides. With a fiberglass, one of these fiberglass brushes, I'd fix that up afterwards. But what you're going to do is afterwards you're going to when it's dry you're going to I've, this is a piece of one mil plastic card sorry i'm going to put that over i'll put a hole in it and then i'm going to lop it off so in other words it'll be one mil high just lop it off with a oh sorry this is going out of focus uh i'll lop it off with a craft knife and that's that'll be that finished so i'll just leave that for a moment the next thing i'm going to do is put the hinge in or one of the hinges that's it there it's pretty small and it's gonna it's a small hinge so it's gonna go in the, in the middle the two longer hinges go there so basically what you want is all the hinges in the same plane otherwise the door wouldn't open on the real thing to make it easier for you I've done a little diagram this is what you get you get flat pieces with a hole in the middle and you get two hinges these are the top and bottom ones and they're the middle ones see but basically what's bigger about them is this is longer and I think you know what's gonna happen you you feed you feed it through there and hold it with a pair of pliers put a bit of super glue on the end and push it into the hole so I'm gonna do that now okay you can see the hinging now if you get a bit of glue around the outside don't worry about it in fact what I did is I put a daub of glue on the end of the little hinge and so it spread onto that base plate um, so that it sticks and it sticks in the hole. Fiberglass brush will get that all off. Now the other thing I've done, I think you can see, I've got this little piece of plastic card with a hole in it uh, and I sliced off the top with, um, with a craft knife. So you can pull that off I don't know if I can do this. Uh, no, I'm not going to try and do it. Oh, I'm going to clean it off now. So you can see that's done. Um, the other thing you can use 
this is a bit of 600 grit wet and dry that's handy because uh, you're going to give it a good clean up anyway um, now I'll just go on to the windows I've I've pulled a window out again sorry if this is just a bit difficult for me with one hand the easiest way to do the window these are rebated sorry the windows have got a rebate on the back uh, what, else, what you do let's see if this is the right way around just give it a, a bit of a gentle curve over the edge of the roof just like so um, now let's go on to these windows this is really important I'll show you how you glue them in in a minute the problem is this is where you can make a real balls up the windows the windows actually are obviously are slightly bigger than that and there's a bit of lateral movement that way and up and down now not so much sideways horizontal movement but it's important that you get these windows in the same plane so what I've decided oh sorry it's kind of out of focus again sorry what I decided to do oh, let's see why it's doing that what I decided to do is make sure they're all pushed up towards the top because when you line this coach if one's up and one's down it's going to show big time the other thing is what you can do you don't want to get it a bit skew sideways because that will show as well so it pays to take a lot of time here like most models we're a bit impatient just take your time um, easier said than done but that's what you need to do take your time so I'm going to put one window in now the way I'm going to do it again this is a bit hard to show you um, what, what the best the, the best way to do it is to get some super glue and put it on the end of a craft knife. Uh, uh, I've got an old blade. I'm not going to use this one because this is a sharp one. I use a manky old blade. Now the good thing about using a manky blade, the glue sticks to this. It's very easy to clean up. I just go and put it under the gas flame. Just a couple of seconds, it burns off, and you've got all the crap off the blade or a match or whatever you want. So basically, what you're going to do is you're going to put this. You're going to put some glue on there, and you're just going to butter it around the top. Just from there round to there, say, you're going to push it hard up in the window frame, make sure it's straight, and then I'm going to put a uh, one of those bulldog clips on it, like, um, and hold it. Okay, what I've done is I did exactly what I did. I changed the blade and got my uh, manky blade. Uh, wherever I put that, here it is. It's a crap blade, but again, you can see just you can clean it up. So what I've done is I've put it in and I'm just holding it with a clip. I'll leave it for a few minutes or and it's straight. And again, it's pushed up at the top. Whatever you do, just decide whether you want it pushed up or pushed down. Uh, looking at some photos, I push it up because I realise that um, the lining goes right through the door handle and it's right underneath there. I've just checked a few photos. So what I would actually what I did on the other side. Uh, I did this at night. I put all the windows in one after another. I took because uh, I've only got one clip. I put one in. I put them all in and just left them overnight to dry. Notice the bottom. Nothing else is done. That's not done. Uh, what we're going to do when I take this off, it's really simple. Just put some more glue on the blade. Lift up the window. What time is it? Half past nine. Here's my clock. Put some oh 10 o'clock put some glue on there get underneath and butter it round right round there right round there right round don't worry if the glue pops out that's i would rather glue pop out because you can get it off you want them these fixed i'm going well, this has been on for a while so i'm going to fix the whole window now in fact what you can do is slide the knife underneath and put the glue on the end then move it back and forwards and put more on then finally pull your knife out Okay, now I've put the window in. I did exactly what I said. I buttered these sides. You can probably see there's a bit of super glue out there. Once it's pardon me, once it's dry, a fiberglass brush, or even go around with that wet and dry. This is so critical because if you don't get rid of this, 
no no amount of painting is going to fix this up. Take your time of every window. Even if you do one window and you get fed up with it, go and make the bed or have a cup of tea or something. But you know, don't rush, please don't rush because you can do a really good job of these coaches. So the other thing I do when I put the windows in because I flexed it, and it's really important that these windows they sit flush. If there's a buckle. Uh, or even something underneath there, if you get light from above, you're going to see a shadow. So what I do with that piece of plastic card, which comes with a kit, it's used for making the steps, but you get a lot left over. I push, when I push it down, I push it over and just press down on it, just like that. Press down, and it sticks pretty quick. I mean, look, you don't need any fancy, just manky super glue will do. Don't use any fancy name. Uh, I'm going to get this off now, this, uh, the glue. Sorry, I think I've uh, thought I was recording. Um, maybe I wasn't. I put the window in. Uh, you can probably just see just there a bit of shine. That's super glue squeezed out. As I said, fiberglass brush will get that all off. It's important that the windows are pushed. Oh, well, I push them hard up against that top ridge. That way, I know that they're all going to be level. Uh, because as I said, if they're not level, it's going to look terrible. And the lining will really amplify that being terrible. Um, I do push down. When I when I put the glue on, I put a piece of plastic card and just rub over it. Put a bit of pressure on so that it's all flush. Uh, I'm just going to get the glue off now. Okay. That's done. No glue on it. Uh, the other thing I do is maybe sometimes you can get glue on, on the actual brass. And that will show too. So just rub over with wet and dry. Now, really important, these windows have, I don't know what they're called, these things fold out, little butterfly things. I suppose they're like uh, wind breaks on the real things. Now, they are very, very delicate. If you bend them too quick, I haven't broken one yet, but I think I can see, well, you can see they will break. They're only held top and bottom. I suppose you could put a dab of glue on them afterwards. I've folded this one out now. I don't know if you can see, that one's folded out. Don't fold these out until you've got all the windows in. Don't fold them out first. Uh, especially because if you're going to rub up over wet and dry, you're certainly going to knock it off. So what I'm going to do now, I've, I've, obviously I'm going to finish these. I've just shown you briefly the three components will go on pre-painting. Um, this one's, I've got to fold all these out. The, that's now ready for painting I'll just go over it again quickly have a look make sure there's no glue or anything like that uh, now with painting I know it's plastic uh, and obviously we all know that paint doesn't brass doesn't like paint or paint doesn't like brass what I've been using I always prime I got this from a hardware store it's super etch primer uh, I use that uh, you can use um, just normal car primer now obviously the danger of car primer is uh, you can melt plastic as we all know if you flood it you get your airbrush uh, sorry not your airbrush your your can of paint and go and put it thick on yeah you're going to ruin it what I'll do a few mist coats from a distance mist it on and uh, give it a few coats, let it dry, I've missed a bit more on, just build it up. You, you don't want the primer too thick. Now, there is a good reason you prime. Primer is good for showing up blemishes. So if you have got a dauber glue, once you put that paint on, and once you put that primer on, you're going to see your sins. The great thing is, primer, you can use wet and dry on it, get rid of it, go over it again. You want a perfect surface before you start applying your livery coats. In this case, crimson and cream. You can't cover it. it doesn't matter. Unless you're going to paint it by brush and make it thick and bodgy, you won't fix it. So take your time. Uh, as I said, I would do all the windows one at a time at the top. Come back and then do the bottom. That way it's all got time to, um, to uh, set. Uh, 